can't be. There are two ions? Ugh! Just as I thought. You are also a replica of the Phone Master. Wait, what do you mean also? I'm Phone Master Ion's seventh replica. The final one. You're a replica? No way! Ion! I'm sorry, Annis. It's only been about two years since I was born. Two years? That's when I became one of your guardians. Wait, was Arietta reassigned because you didn't have any memories of the past? Yes. The original Ion was sick. Near death. But there was no successor. So Mose and Van used Vomacry. You had the closest abilities to the original. Unlike us, trash. Don't call yourself that. That's what I am. My powers were weak, so I was cast alive into the mouth of the Mount Zalejo volcano. A replica that can't serve as a replacement is nothing more than garbage. Don't say that. We may be replicas, but we're still living beings. I'm not interested in the naive babbling of a replica who has people who need him. Don't talk like that. Escape from here with us. You and I are the same. No, we're not. I'm only alive so Van can use me. In the end, only those of us who are useful are kept alive out of pity. Ion, please don't cry. I'm not crying. But those tears... You're right. It's like losing a brother. I guess I was sad. This is the first time I've ever cried. I understand now. All this time I had it wrong. We're out of time. But Sink erased the phonic glyph. I'll draw it again. But a circle of this scale will require significant concentration. Luke, Tyr, please assist me. What do I do? I'll open all of my phone slots and create a mass of phonons. Luke, use Muse Fire to move the phonons. Tyr, please issue instructions based on the remains of the phonic glyph. So I walk with you where Tyr tells me to. Right. That's how we'll redraw the phonic glyph. Let's begin. Looks like we drew it. Yes. Now let's get to the Albior. Ah! Heed my words. You who are the same as I, can you hear my voice? Ash? No, this voice is. Luke, are you all right? I'll try healing you. 
Set me free from the prison of this eternal cycle. A descendant of Yulia. I shall borrow your power. The pain's fading away. Luke, my isophone. I can finally speak to you. Tear? No. You're not Tear. Your kind knows me as Lorelei. The aggregate sentience of the seventh phonon. Its existence was hypothetical, but... I am the seventh phonon itself. And you, Luke, your phonon frequency is the same as mine. You and the other you are both my perfect isophones. I am you. That is why I ask this of you. Right now, something enormous is absorbing my power. It is shaking the core and causing the Sephiroth to go out of control. Your actions have quieted the core and stabilized the Sephiroth. But as long as I am trapped here... Tear! Tear, are you okay? I'm fine. I just feel a little dizzy. What happened? It's dangerous here. We should get to the Albior now. We made it somehow. Tear, are you feeling okay? Yes. I I'm still worried. Your body was suddenly taken over by Lorelei. You should have a doctor examine you just in case. I bet we could get a thorough examination in Belkend. I hope the Oracle Knights aren't there. At this point, I'm sure even Duke Fabre has cut his ties with Van. We can find out if we ask the Governor. Let's go! I'm worried about Tyr! Okay, okay! <laughs>